spy on Alan Wake. I came to Bright Falls with my wife, Alice. Thank you for coming here with me. I thought maybe you could write here. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. Now, she's missing. Alice? Ah! Alice? I woke up behind the wheel of a crashed car. I'm missing a week. I was attacked by shadowy men straight from a nightmare. The sheriff took me to the lake Alice and I had stayed at. But the cabin had disappeared. I'm home. Back here, sweetie. How was it? Worst weather I've ever seen. You should put some coffee on. It'll warm you up. Honey, I'm home. It's typical America. Right, okay. Uh, obviously, there's been some Americans who might watch this, but maybe that's just the way that it is. America. Uh, TV sitcoms, anyway. Right. Uh, coffee, coffee, coffee. Oh, that looks interesting. Turn on. Oh, I was turning on. Coffee's up. on. Great, thanks. I'll need it if I'm gonna finish this by tomorrow. Alrighty. Oh, what's this? I don't want to go around this. I want to have a poke around this house. A flat, even. Look, I've got a stereo system here. Where's the TV? What the hell? Oh, there it is. Boxed up. So that makes perfect sense. So you box up all the books. No, no, you don't. You leave all the books out. Everything out. And he box up the TV. Or is it a new TV? Ah, it's a new TV. Sweet. Oh, hi, oh, Alice. Hey, I just finished those cover mock ups. They're on your desk. Tell me what you think. Oh, look no at kidding. me. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. Oh, on occasion, sweet. I can perform all sorts of miracles, my dear. Oh, really? Well, you seemed to think so last night. Uh huh. Well, let's keep that between us two, shall we? Let's go to your study. Oh. Maybe it's just a weird door that won't... What the hell? Oh, okay. Is that a cupboard, do we reckon? Alright, let's go and have a look at my mock-ups. These oh, look really yeah. good. Oh, sure, until Barry gets his hands on them. Which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. The last time was the last time. Except for the last time. Barry, he called. <gasps> Alan! Alan, please check the fuse box. I'm right here. I'm on it, honey. Please hurry. Oh, I'm fine. Don't you worry about it, love. Uh, focus F. Okay, yeah. Honey, it's a power outage. I I've got the flashlight. Okay. <laughs> Look. Oh, just my face, you'll see an image. You okay? I'm sorry. I just. Blind. It just really spooked me. Don't worry. We'll just break out the candles. Oh, where am I going? I know it's stupid, but it's just. Especially when I'm not prepared for it, you know? It gets to me. I love you. Tell me a story, writer. Okay. <clears throat> I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. The dark really spooked me, too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? Yeah. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, sure. Here it is. Alan. Maybe it'll help you, too. <laughs> yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. Seriously. I love you, even if you are a liar. Thanks for this. Oh, get a room. How do you feel, Mr. Wick? Any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? Mr. Wick, how are you feeling? 
I'm okay. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Hmm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Thanks. Well, well then, Mr. Wake, we're done here. If the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. Uh -huh. I'll let you get on with it then. Sarah, uh, Sheriff Breaker, is waiting for you. She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. Excellent. Doc Nelson was the image of a small town doctor. Sheriff Breaker had called him to the station to take a look at the cut in my head. Um, oh, it's a fish. I'm sorry you had to cut your morning fishing short for this, Doc. Oh, she's a beauty, ain't she? Not the biggest I ever caught, if you can believe that coming from an old fisherman like me. But she's right up there. Now, she's a largemouth bass, which is what you're after if you prefer a lure. Now, if you want either trout or salmon, on the other hand, then it's fly fishing for you. Excellent. Uh, well. Are you a fishing man, Mr. Wake? Oh, doesn't really matter, I suppose. But it can be very relaxing out there. You can't get me off the water this time of year. Closest thing to heaven. Excellent. I'll take well, a word for it, Doc. I'll leave you to it, I think. Uh, let's go to this door. Oh, sorry. Thank you for testing the lights, Miss Beaver. Everything seems to be fine. I don't have the luxury of being... Ah, oh, there she is. Deputy Grant. The bulbs will need changing soon. You can't change them in the dark. I'll be sure to take care of it, Miss Weaver. Have a nice day now. Very good. I'll come back later on to remind you, just in case. Very good. Mr. Wake, the sheriff is waiting for you in her office down the corridor. Uh, I don't think... Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, can't focus in on the cat though, that's a bit depressing. I'm focusing on those two dudes, or th four dudes, or whatever. But I can't focus in on the cat. That's a bit shit. Come in, Mr. Wake. Well, hello. Your phone's on the desk. The that's battery sweet. was dead. It's charged now. Thank you. Have you started looking for my wife yet? My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? Cauldron Lake. How did you end up oh. at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd lock me up. Excuse me. I need to take this. Hello? Alice, please help me. Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. Who is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. Junker? I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're going to meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Lover's Peak. <laughs> Midnight. <clears throat> Don't do nothing stupid, pal. Mr. Wake, can I help you with you. anything? I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. Of course, Mr. Wake. You can get there through the cell corridor. Just don't mind Walter in there. He's one of our regulars. I'm gonna, oh, hang on, this is manuscript. Oh, no such luck. He went on a bender and beat Danny pretty badly. He started shouting like that the moment he woke up. I'm at Stucky's gas station with Thornton. There's no sign of him. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, this is Thornton. Look, we've located the gray float. It's here. That's some good news, right? Stucky was supposed to be driving it at the rehearsal today. Over. No, oh, give me that. Mulligan here. Looks like someone really Ooh. thrashed the garage. Over. Okay, roger that, guys. Keep looking for Stucky. Chains out. Okay. So who, what, Walter? Please help me, man! I hate this! The early morning light hurt my eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. The left, okay. Oop. Uh, e. Oh, what's a junker? Is is it junk? What's that? Bloody hell, a manuscript. Of all places. Samurai junker. 
Alice's driver's oh. license had been placed on the front seat. The caller meant business. A second. Barry? Ow! Ow! Thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week, you and Alice. Oh, I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here, here in Bright Falls. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Ow! What the hell is going I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. Uh, can we go through this gate here? Oh, okay. Um, can I sneak out the front door? Where's Walter gone? Oh. oh hello. What's in there? <laughs> Just reach up onto this bed. Blind. The writer is a light that reveals the world of his story from darkness, shapes it from nothingness. The way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite. If I stop, the world I'm making dies. Darkness will reclaim it. It's a long, hard journey into the dark. Alice's life is at stake, but I can't think about that, or I'll lose it. The dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible here. I'll write the story. I'll save her. How bizarre. Okay. Marvelous, Sarah. I just wanted to settle all the damage the Anderson brothers might there have done. There we go, just sneakily hurt. out the door. Are you feeling oh. any better, Mr. Wake? I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about... Am I under arrest? No, of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emil Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where... Oh, hey! Oh, my! Take it easy. Nobody move! Get your hands off of my client! Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. If you have business with Mr. Wake, you talk to me. You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, sir. <laughs> I'm all right. I don't want to press charges. Mr. Wake, my offer still stands. Get me out of here. What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were gonna lock you up. I had to talk to someone. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money, and he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. Dad? Mr. Wake! Barry, you found him! Hi, Rose. Oh, wow. Ugh. I was just thinking about you, too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony, looking after Max. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later. <gasps> Who's Max? What an airhead. Jeez, Mr. Takes a swing at everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice mm. girl and, more importantly, a fan. She even has a fan site dedicated to you. And she was very helpful when I was looking for you. Seriously, Al, what you were saying in the car, just listen to yourself. What, you shot a guy and his body just disappeared? When was the last time you slept? What, are you high? Have you been drinking? No! Look, Barry, I'm missing a week, and someone's got Alice. Do and you everything's understand just... what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Don't get me wrong, it's a good story, could be a bestseller. But when you start confusing fiction with reality, you're buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm. Right, wait here. Let's have a look around here. Oh, who's this? Easy there, boy. I'm almost done. Hey, Rusty, right? You rent cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake. 
I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Okay, Bucktooth sure. Bucktooth Charlie, you see? Seriously, Al, you can't just go and meet a kidnapper. Those oh. situations always end up in disaster. You gotta talk to the cops. She's my wife, and it's my call. Can we talk about this later? No. This whole thing is... Listen, you hit your head. I think this is the form you wanted. And here are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you staying here. Thank you very much. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? Oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths, you'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Nice spot, too. Yeah, I'm sure it will be. Probably if you have any trouble finding it, just keep your eyes on the radio mast. It's right below that. Radio mast? Uh, okay. Hang on. Press F. Set focus. Oh, is that the radio mask? Oh, it's just there. Well, that's, that's easy. I'll be able to find that in seconds. You're trying to pull a joke on me. Freak me out? It's working. Ha ha! Let's have a laugh on Barry! Ah. That's just crazy talk, Al. Al! Al? We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI? Damn it, Barry! The killer! This is not a goddamn debate, Barry. <laughs> I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help, and I'll do it. You stay here, and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. <laughs> Just be careful with the natives, Al. These yokels are dangerous. Everybody hates a tourist, or it'll be deliverance all over again. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Bless you. Oh, this place is trying to kill me. I'll bet there's mold in here, spores, poison ivy, God knows what. This is so not worth a 15% commission. I've got no buddy gone again. What's that over there? Oh, hello, I've got some batteries. Is there anything else I can pick up in here before I bug it off outside and lose my life? Uh. Look over here, there's a door here. Oh. Alright, let's go out and kill ourselves. No, I don't really want to leave the light off, do I? Uh, to Lover's Peak. And God help me all, I've got a feeling. Wait here, Al. I'll hold down the fort. I'll be with you in spirit every step of the way. Only got now. 12 bullets, is that eight? Oh, what's in here? There's got to be something in here. Let's go and have a look. There's a manuscript page, I saw it. Press E. Thank you. What the hell? Barry had the keys to the car he rented. It wasn't a long walk to the visitor center. And it wouldn't be any use to me in the forest. You never know. Alter terrain and all that business. Or terrain, or whatever you call it. All right, let's I go. I knew I should have gone to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing I'd ever done. God but I was me. still angry with Barry for trying to talk me out of it. These people had called me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them, and they had Alice. Let's go and have a look at this cabin here. Jesus Christ. Uh, the thought about cabins because they have things. Like things. I don't care about the radio. Ah! Yes! Oh, thank you, God. Any more? Any more? Any more? Okay, let's roll. Uh, get my brain ready. 
Shit. Can we go inside there? Go inside all the buildings because there might be. I don't really care about manuscripts, I just want the bloody gun, bullet choppy thingies and lights. That's one way to open the door. Ah, it's another episode. Crime and punishment. The cancer and cure of civilization. But some crimes are impossible to punish. Especially in Night Springs. Tonight's episode. The man in the mirror. Uh huh. He's inside, Agent. He's a weird one. So, you're confessing to killing that guy, huh? Why? And it coming? Of course. Yes, but why would you do that? I mean, you're a nice guy. Normal. You took a kid to a soccer game. So, how come at the game, you pick a guy and, quoting from the arresting officer's report here, Assault the victim's head area repeatedly with the weapon of choice being a pair of bare fists. Wow, that sentence really flows, huh? <laughs> Maybe you're not the literary type. Okay, so you mess him up. But why? Who was that guy? We couldn't ID him. Why would a guy like you do him like that? I didn't like his face. Well, you must have hated it, because you really went to town there. I mean, there's no way to tell what he looked like. No ID on him either. That must be difficult. But then we ran the fingerprints. Got a match. Your prints. Identical. Huh. How about that? Huh? Your son said you were wearing a white shirt when you took him to the game. But the white shirt is on the dead guy. It's plenty red now. <laughs> I won't get away with this. Do you really think that's in any way relevant to me? I had plenty of time to talk to my boy before the cops arrived, you know? He won't stop screaming, am I right? You think he's ever going to be okay? <laughs> I left my mark. Believe me. You, you bastard. What? You going to shoot me? What's the point? I'm going to prison. You got me. I, I don't understand any of this. And you never will. <laughs> don't worry. Maybe you'll see me again, Agent. Maybe in the mirror. Uh Strange episode. Okay, right, uh let's get back to the real world here. Okay. Gonna give a flying fart about the Is this the right way? God, right. The vision left me weak. This was no head injury. No! No! Still, damn. Busty, hang on! I'm, I'm coming. coming! Please, help me! the way it was on that page. I found. Came true. It knew. So dark. It'll come back for me. You must... The lights. In the office. I have the key. Okay, Rusty. Hang on. I'll be right back. Whatever did this couldn't be far. 
Oh, Rusty had found a page from the manuscript. It would help me understand what had happened. Is there any more ammo anyway before I go wandering off and looking for some torchlights, whatever it is? What's in there? Nothing. Okay, well, let's, let's go. Shh. Good boy. Is there any ammo down here before I go wandering off? How about down here? There's some doors. <gasps> some doors! Huh. No. Okay. The only way to make sure that Rusty was safe was to get the power running and the lights back on. Oh. Can we just kick the door open? It's just lying here. Oh, sweet. Oh, yes. Is that bloody light switch? Oh. I was too late. Someone had destroyed the circuit breaker. There was no way to get the lights back on. Rusty! Rusty! The ground was covered with oily patches that looked like liquid darkness. Shit all over my bloody floor. Yeah, I don't want to because I don't know if I want to touch that. I just need my senses. Turn to Rusty, where the hell's Rusty? Something had torn a mammoth sized hole in the wall. Oh, let's try Please and... don't feed the animals. Fishing is only permitted for those prisoners who purchase a park Shit. fishing license. No bay. The Park Ranger's instructions. At all times. Rusty, Rusty, no, never. Just about to pile all my bullets at once. Closer than twenty-five yards. Pets must be leashed. At all times. Never leave your pet unattended. Where's Rusty? Is in there? It is This includes even Yeah, no, reach level peak. But where the f Can I go to this doorway now? No, I don't. Oh, sorry, I've just seen the gap there. Okay, let's burn the darkness off the little bastards first, and then shoot them. Alright, let's reach Lover's Peak, and the thing is, you can hardly run on this fucking game, so I only want to run when I really have to run. Run! Forest! There's only ammo while I'm pissing out around here. Oh, 
It's ringing me this time of night. What? What the hell was that? I saw it from the window. I saw it. I saw something. Forget about it, Barry. It's just me going crazy. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. You're not crazy. I wish you were crazy, but you're not crazy. Ow, be careful. Stay in the cabin. Don't open the door for anyone. I mean it. Beer. Oh, oh, what the hell? Is there anything in this bin? No, okay. What's this? Oh, thank you, God. Am I going up or down? Down, aren't I? Because Lover's Peak is down. You know, it's, everyone assumes it's up because it's a peak. But not in this game, no, we're going down. The game freezes every time a checkpoint appears, but thankfully checkpoints appear Lover's quite... Peak was at the far end of the nature trail. Uh, okay. Son of a bitch. Just reach out and call somebody, eh? That must peak, okay. Oh, see, every time I reach another checkpoint, it freezes. I'm so sorry if anybody's. Losing the will. Uh, pictures just changed, which usually means that something's about to appear in front of me. There you go. The great old one. Did you come from? Son of a bitch! Fuck off! What? I, why couldn't I find my this thing? I'm pressing damn Q, but I'm not getting my bloody battery put in. I don't want to read the fucking bloody... Oh, 
can't you fucking run? Jesus wept. Tell me there's some fucking ammo in here. What's that? Is that a manuscript on the floor? Oh god, who's that dodgy little character? I just saw him running over there. The fucker just moved. Ah shit. Ah shit. Ah oh, bollocks. Layout. What do you mean a different layout? What the? What the? I have no idea what it's talking about. A different layout. The bit that I'm pissed off with is I ran into a doorway. Not a doorway. There. Where did I run into? Right, so there's a little fucker that runs. There he goes. So what I want to do is run. Two. Some fucking ammo. Is there any ammo down here? Great, there wouldn't be, would there? Oh god. Oh, the light! Light! What's that? It's manuscript on the floor. No, it's not. Fuck that. Oh, okay, can I go over here? I've got 11 bullets left and hardly any flashlights. I feel completely safe here in the middle of nowhere. Shit. Come on, we 
gotta get moving. More of them coming. Who's this guy? That flashlight's kid stuff. The flares will keep the bastards away. Yeah, but I have three of those things. You can see them too? Hell, of course I see them. Come on, we gotta move. Why? <laughs> because that's the way the story goes. Yeah, but... Let's move! I lost my gun back there. Oh, I've got a gun. Just keep that light steady on him. It took a moment, but then I recognized him. He'd been on the ferry when I first arrived here with Alice. He knew my name. We were headed in the direction of Lover's Peak. There was no way this was a coincidence. He was the kidnapper. Come on, Wake. You better keep up. Hear that? It's them. Peak, right up these stairs, Wake. Use the flares from the emergency box to hold them off while I get these boards off. Give me the gun. <laughs> yeah, no can do, Wake. Are you kidding? Give me the gun. No time for back talk. Pull them off, damn it. Scare him off! Get some light on those bastards! That'll keep them off us! Just a little longer! I almost got it! Okay, it's open. Wait. Move it or lose it! Oh, you feeling better now, Wake? All cozy and safe. Better get ready. They'll be on us soon. Fucking hell, I just wanted to go to bed. Not in the game, but for real life. This is it, Wake. The last stand. There's more flares here. Get ready. We fight them as long as they keep coming. Give me the goddamn gun! They're coming! That's not how this goes. Get with the program, Wake.
Let's cut the act now. Where's my wife? I knew you were gonna say that. I read it all before. You're a hell of a writer. Congratulations. You're gonna bring about something glorious and terrible once we get you some uh, proper editorial control. What the hell are you talking about? Where's Alice? I want the entire manuscript, or she's gonna suffer bad. You touch her all. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't die out here, I've got no torches, no flares, no guns. I've got a gun. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm gonna stop there. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Holy God. Okay, well, I think I'm still on chapter two. I don't know if I got to chapter three yet. Okay, and tomorrow I shall carry on.